All right, good morning all. Uh, you welcome to yet another episode of Java Express class. Um, well, yesterday we have uh, given an assignment on Java FX where we ask students to kind of create a, uh, a layout, I mean, a window as it is displayed on the screen. This was this designed with Java Swings, Swing Layout. I mean, Swing Up. That we want you to use Java FX to design same with the same layout manager, or with the same layout, um, kind of layout, um, or not necessarily same layout manager. Because here the layout manager use it's is a good bug layout. So you could use any layout manager from um, FX that will enable to come up with design of the window as it is displayed. Uh, what I wanted doing today is to design the database that will enable this uh, uh, the enable information captured here to be stored in the database after the click of register. So next when we meet, we're going to create the UI and then create the connectivity and insert the purpose onto the, the database table. So I'm going to create the database and then uh, then we create table. We are going to use Workbench, My MySQL Workbench. And this is the MySQL Workbench here, MySQL Workbench. This is MySQL Workbench. I'm using MySQL Workbench 6.3 CE. The database or the table is very simple, very simple. As it is seen, uh, there's no complications in it. It's just that you need name, you need address, you need uh, you might need email address, you need phone number, you need where to store program and duration. Okay. So uh, what we do, this is what we call MySQL Workbench. As a beginner, if you want to start using it, here I have connections. These are many connections I created. What you do, first of all, you create a connection. Click on this, you see MySQL connection. Click on this uh, plus sign. Uh, then after clicking, then you check on the connection name here. You give it a name. Let's say JavaFX project connection this is the name given to this connection all right then come down here you give kind of name to the username and password of your of your mysql mysql uh, server and then here the host name. This is the host name IP. And then this is the uh, port number. The port number, the one I'm using to connect from here is 3306. So it could be different from yours. If you haven't changed the default port number of your MySQL, it is same. Then you click on test connection for some more. Connection warning gets connected. Continue connection. It has connected to source screen. Then OK. And then you OK it. Then that connection will be created and you see it down here. Can you see JavaFX? Yes. JavaFX connection. 
then you click on the connection so this is the connection you'll be using to query your database you can use any other connection please come after doing that come back to home because we are going to model the database okay so you click on the models here you click on model after clicking on model then you click on my db after clicking on my db you'll be asked to enter your database name let's say uh, Let's say it is Java FX. For Roman projects, for example. Okay? That's the name given. I don't want to use names that will conflict with other names there. And then after doing that, and if you want to write some comments, you can write here. This is the collation. Then you specify the collation you want to use. Actually, it is under UTF-8 collation. So if you want to change the collation to something different, you can change it. This uh, is something that will enable you to accommodate um, or to store uh, text in different languages or in languages with your target language, whether right to left or left to right or anywhere, whether Arabic, UV, and all that. So you check the bit, the, the, the the collision you want to use mostly we choose utf so i don't know if you want if you have any any collision greater than utf and other than utf so we have created uh, 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 our database then next is to create tables in it double click on this add diagram when you double click on the add diagram, it opens like this. Then, please, can you see the table here? Yes. You can click and click it here. Then you double click on the table. This is where you add your tables. Okay? So then, the first thing, of course, this is not the table, the only table we're going to use in the in the application but uh, actually we're going to use multiple tables but we're starting with this um, maybe next time we're going to do a lot of things regarding authentications login and all that so we can see a lot of technologies here that has to do with relationships the relations between uh, one table to another table whether one to one mapping to understand one to many to many to one but let's understand what we're doing now uh, this is this is the table we want to create it's a uh, want to model it so here we need name address email address phone number program and duration all of this is never a hard one because uh, we wouldn't want to bring in something hard while we are just starting so i yeah, double clicked on this and the table here we call it a roman right let's let's make it a roman that's the name of the table then the first thing you need to do is you click in here after clicking, it gives you this. What we need the first thing here is ID. All right, ID. And this ID could it has to be primary key and auto incremental. All right, and not more. I can see zero few. But for now, let's just leave it. Zero for is the one that enables you to see if you, if you see if it is one. If your ID is one, it gives you zero zero one, pending what you specify to be the uh, digits needed. So uh, next is uh, I think next there it's what you know you will see ID here, right? Yes. Yeah. So we have name, for example. Name. This name, you see, this auto incremental has to be int. Is it? Yes. Of course, with time we're going to change some things here. Of course, it is int, but we need to specify number of digits. Either two, three, or whatever. 
the name can 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 somebody's name go beyond 45 characters? Yes. So let's give it. What do you suggest? 60. 60. Let's say 64. Yes, complete name. Complete name. Not just so name or whatever. Complete name. So here, uh, the specification here, it's going to be not null. It will not accept null on name. Okay? And I think that's all. Next is what? You see, you have to arrange it the way they are here. Address, address and email address. Address. Let's give it same. 64, for example. Not no. Email address. You can see email ID. Let's let's give it 40, 45. Phone number. But you know all these are Valka, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. The data type is Valka. Phone. Huh? How many? Let's say 25. You see, don't give phone number int since you are not going to make calculations with it. So let it be text. Then what here? Program. Program. Program, not null. The last one is duration. Duration also not null. Let's say 15. Okay? So this this is your we are done with the table. All right. So here, uh, let me close this. Can you see? This is what. This is the table. But one thing I want you to understand: we don't have this database in our in our database. If you search the name of database there, come to our model here. Sorry, come to the connection here and search for show databases. Show databases. If you check in the list of the entire databases, you will see anything uh, Java. I mean, what do you call it? Java FX. Uh, look at the Java FX enrollment. You will see it. You will not see it. In fact, I don't even think if there is J in it. Okay, there are J's initials. But Java FX is not there. So what you do, what we have done here, is that you just created a model. You haven't created your your what? You haven't created your database. So please, can you see something? This is telling you that you haven't seen. So you come here and click on what? Save model. All right. So let us create a folder where we're going to save our model. Let me go to um, this young. Lesson 2022. Okay, Java, Java, let's see. Java FX. A moment. Database model. All right, this this way I'm saving it.
database model. Okay? So it has been stored now. Now, the next thing we do is what we call the forward engineering. You have created a database. Next is you do what we call forward engineering. No, you've created the model, only model, and saved. It's when you forward the engineering that the database gets created into our database server. Here we're just interacting with the MySQL workbench as a client. So what you do is to push this. You come to database and then you, you go you move to what we call forward engineering. Can you see all connection states you know set in here? It's, it's alright, you come to next, click on next. You see it's exporting MySQL tables and everything. You click on next. And then you click on what? Next. It has done everything now for you. And if you check here, now can you see Java FX enrollment what? Projects. This is the name of the database. The name is too long. It nonetheless, I just want you to understand uh, how you create this and how we're going to separate it with what we have. So let us now check on this. Let me magnify for you to see very well. Let's check on. Let us let's use this database. And the name is very long. It has been used. Let's check. Does it have any table? Is this house table? Can you see it has what? One table, which is the one you've created. Okay, so let's check on the table. Let's describe it. For example, it has been described. And this is what it has. Can you see we have primary key or to increment which is the ID and the rest. This is their yeah, data types. Okay. Are we there? Yes. Then next, can we check within whether the table has something in? You see the table is what? It's blank. Not anything. Are we there? Yeah. Right. Can we write queries to get something populated inside? You know, this is the work we'll be doing next in our next class. We'll be doing it from Java JavaFX program to populate this table. But let's try it now and see what. Okay. So now we write insert into into what? Enrollment values. 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 All right. The first thing is ID. Yes. So you write null here. Since it is auto incremental. Yes. Name. Victor. Victor. Yes. Huh? Yes. Victor or who? Victor, give me your son in. Your name, Victor. M-E. L. M-E. M-E. D. U. D. U. B. S. E. S. A. S. This way? A. I. Y. E. I. Y. E. Yes, you're right. Oh, I'm saying you're right. I see I'm the person who will name you. Yes, address? No, no, don't give me complete address. Just give me street name and Kaduna. Alkali Street. Email ID? Don't worry, I'll write something. Victor. 
Alright, how are you? Victor at Victor 22 KD, for example, that this, this doesn't exist, so you don't send message. Phone number. Phone number. Let me write my phone number 090 6530 What? Program. The program Victor is doing here or is offering rather is advanced ICT. That is um, full stack development of uh, let, let me put even this specific program here. Java. Full stack. Dev. Duration. I think Victor's duration is 12 months, right? Yes. It is 12 months. It's like that of um, the shield. So now we're going to insert this in, and then after insertion, we check from the query here. Can you see what we have here? Yes. Huh? Yes. Right. So you see this. You say? Where? Email. <laughs> No, I just cited example. I, I didn't mean to write your own your actual email. This is not your actual email. So like the email on top this man. The spelling is email ID email ID. Okay. ID. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. You mean here? Yes. Sir. You can remove it, please. Do what write what you. So if you check here, please, can you see what we have here? Yeah. This is what one. So we want it to be running 001, 002. You know, I told you we're going to change it. We're going to refer to it back. But before then, let me take another person's something here. Or let me just populate for. Let's try. Will it accept? It will accept. Because we didn't pick, we didn't, we, we made all the ID. The what? The primary key. Mm. So we can check on this email ID since it is doing something or phone number to deny duplication. But for now, if you click on it again, it will accept because nothing has been said to prevent it. Can you see? Because none of this is primary key. Okay? So let's make this, please. Let's make these corrections. First of all, Anyway, we want to have padding here, 001, and here we want to make one of these, either phone number or email address, since they are unique, to be part of the what, primary key. That means we're going to have composite key, two primary keys. So where, where do we make these changes? Huh? You come to your model, please. Come to the model, and come to... The, the table, we have one table here, which is being added. Double click on it, it is here. Okay, the first thing is we check on this here. You specify number of things you want. Let's say number of digits. Let's say we need two digits, so you have 001. Okay, and yes, three digits, two zeros and one before that is if you are counting. Before you reach 10, and later you have one zero. Okay, I think it will make more sense than you. And uh, later, I think you need to make which one do you prove? And let's make phone number what and a primary key, right? So it to deny duplication. Are we there? Okay. Right, I haven't selected. I selected. For the ID. Yes, thank you. For the ID, then after doing this, then we now select zero field, and it has to be auto incremental. Okay, when I was correcting here, okay. So what you do is you have to delete this database. 
sometimes even if you do not delete when you do fold engineering it will, it might work but since we will make the changes come down here and drop the drop this dd so you you create your fold engineer it afresh drop database Dropping database means you are completely removing it, right? Yes. So you drop it. So let me check. If it is dropped, when you call it like this, you have an error. You see error message here? It's telling you something. Right? It tells you that unknown database, right? Yes. Yeah. This for the previous command. So then we come to your model. Uh, please save it first, save your model, and then you click on one um, database and come to port engineering. Then everything is correct. Click on next, click on next, click on next, next, and close. So things are done. Here you now check and check on the table. Nothing is in, right? Yes. So let's push in one. I've highlighted only one of these. Then let's check from here. Can you see 001? Yes. Then now let's let's send this same thing to check whether it is checking on the primary piece. There is an error here. Oh, it has entered. Yeah, I don't know really. Let's check from this. Around it has entered. What happened? Okay, 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 okay. All right, of course, it has to enter because uh, I've selected, I have two composite keys. Okay, which is uh, when I said phone number and ID, that means the two has to be sent. If you have ID of one and phone number like this, then it will deny. But what I've done here, it's going to use O, ID O, phone number. Sorry, it's going to use and ID and phone number must be same. And I mean it so you can you can tackle this from your your from your base you use business logic to tackle it from the from the program. Okay? Use business logic to tackle it. You see how we're going to do it. We check whether same phone number has been used later uh, before. Or, or email address or something and then you tackle it but we have achieved this one and i think we're, we're going to call it we're going to stop here inshallah tomorrow or next week uh, we're going to do these populations and other uh, population of topos and other populations from the java effects program not directly on the server as we've been doing here thank you for watching uh,